I am so excited to be back first I know I have been gone for a super duper long time I had the last video I had posted was the the gray matter takes New York event which was my vlog and after that somehow my camera lens got messed up and I had to get it fixed so my baby was in the shop for a while and then we had some um, family related issues where I just wasn't in the mood to film and then finally when I got my camera back of course my work schedule has gotten hectic so I don't have my normal shooting day so I have to figure out another shooting day and still attempt to post videos on Friday like I normally do. So today we are doing another Kaya Reaches. I personally don't do monthly favorites for the simple fact that I don't buy enough products to do a monthly favorites. What Kaya reaches is things that I constantly reach for or things that I have recently bought that are new and I'm, I can see that I'm constantly reaching for it. So I have a decent amount of products here and of course they are all beauty related. So I'm just going to jump right into it so this has last year was the year of highlighters everybody and their mom had a highlighter like a highlight on fleek like the nose highlight was on fleek as well like mine is today so i have three highlighters here the first one is um revolution makeup Lon revolution makeup london the brand name is Revolution, okay? I don't know why I can't spit it out. The name of the brand is Revolution. And it is their Vivid Br vivid Baked Bronzer in the color Rock on World. Now, when I saw it, you think bronzers are, um, are mostly to warm up your skin via contour. But when I saw this, I was like, nope. This is getting used as a highlight. And... Can we just see how beautiful this is? Like glistening. Hold on, let me just get a little bit of on there, Freya. Like glistening. Like, ugh, this highlight is everything somebody had told me when i had purchased it that it was a dupe for um max gold deposit but i don't have that yet so i'm not really sure if it is a dupe once i get max gold deposit then we can do a comparison test but for right now I'll take that and I had purchased mine from Ulta from what I've seen so far Ulta is the only store that holds um, Revolution London makeup secondly I am super duper 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 late on purchasing this item me and my friend Megan we had went to the Ulta store after work one day and she's like just now getting into makeup so she was buying all of this stuff and I saw a Laura Geller um, display and I was like I wonder if they have the gilded honey here so of course the manager walks over to me and says oh do you need help with anything and I'm like I want the product but you probably don't have it in stock and she goes what's the name of the product Laura Geller gilded honey it'd be amazing if you had it in stock <sighs> and bada bing bada boom it was in stock and when I say this was not overhyped, it was not overhyped because it is life, okay? This Gilded Honey highlight is everything. Yes, I am super late on getting on this Gilded Honey train, but I am completely, utterly obsessed in love. And 
no joke when they say like honey this is this is honey like like glistening honey laura geller gilded honey right here it literally just looks like glistening honey like if you were to put your honey on your window on your window sill just had the sun glistening on it like that's what this is and it's just like amazing then the last highlighter that i'll be showing you guys karuchi tran she had came out with a line um with color pop I think, I think it was called K-pop, K-A-E pop. I'm not sure if it's still available on their website, but if it is available on their site, you need to grab this one highlighter. This highlighter is called Glow Up. And I feel like this is what um, Becca's Champagne Pop in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill should have looked like. I feel like this glow up highlighter would be good on every skin tone i feel like the um the champagne pop is a little bit stark white for my skin tone i still try to use it because of course i had purchased it so i really need to try to use it so this is glow up glow up right here and like i said just completely and utterly obsessed like just amazing so for some odd reason this year for me has been like the year of perfumes i am just like over the hills obsessed with perfume so i have one of my favorites i've been obsessed with it since it came out and it is the lady gaga fame perfume when i first purchased this perfume um i think it might have been cvs all walgreens cvs all walgreens like around um around holiday time they give you um not samples but like smaller versions of these bottles for like 20 something or either like 20 something bucks and it comes like a lotion or something so i bought it because i really wanted to try it so i'm like let me get a smaller one first and i got it and let me just see if I can describe this into you. This is more of a like elegance meets floral musk kind of a scent. And I finished the first bottle I got and then me and a friend of mine, we were inside of, we were inside of uh, Marshalls and they had it for 20 bucks, the big bottles. I was like, oh. And funny enough, um, a coworker of mine, I'm also obsessed with the perfume Chloe. I wish I had it for you. I don't have it yet. I had a sample of Chloe and I am completely and utterly obsessed with Chloe. I do plan on getting a full size bottle of it, the biggest bottle possible. But a coworker of mine had said to me that if you want to find perfumes really cheap, instead of you going to a Macy's or um, a Nordstrom, she told me to look on Overstock.com. Now, I would have never thought in a billion years that it went to go on Overstock.com because I feel like Overstock is mostly for household items and like bedding and stuff like that. But I had looked they had chanel perfumes on there not all of the chanel perfume but they had a few they definitely had my lady gaga fame and they also had um the chloe perfume that i plan on getting so i must buy that in full size so i think the obsession with perfume for me started when i had bought my mom this past christmas the sephora sample box i bought her the biggest box possible and the sample box pretty much consists of different perfume sample sample sizes of perfume and once you go through the box and you figure out which one that you like the most they have a certificate in the box for you to get a full size bottle of that perfume that you like me i simply i typically try to go for the perfumes and not the towelettes for the simple fact that the perfume lasts longer with it being oil based and the towelette being more alcohol based a little bit more watered down version of the perfume so i had went to sephora when i did that nyx meetup since 
we didn't really buy anything at the next door because it was just super duper crowded and me and Helen just went to Sephora instead. So when I was in Sephora, I had picked up this sample box, um, which was $25 and it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, came with seven perfumes in it. The seven perfumes consist of Chloe, which is the one that I plan on buying, getting with this certificate, Marc Jacobs, Daisy, the Towelette, Tory Burch, the Parfume, um, Elizabeth and James, Nirvana Black, the Parfume, Prada, Candy Floral, which was a Towelette, Stella McCartney, um, the perfume named Stella, it's a Parfume, and Victor Rolf, Flower Bomb, Parfume as well. Um, my friend Helen, she highly suggested the flower bomb and this perfume sample box is only for the roller balls like um little versions of the perfume bottle itself if you wanted to stick this in your purse and i i thought that i was gonna purchase the chloe when i got this but i'm like i mean perch i was gonna get the chloe with this certificate here and now that I'm thinking about it, I have completely come utterly obsessed with the um, Elizabeth James Nirvana Black. So that will be my rollerball of choice, and especially because it's a perfume, so I definitely plan on getting that. So on to the next favorites, which is um, concealer. I have become obsessed with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. Before, I was using um, NYX Concealer Medium to clean up my brow line, and I was, start to, I was starting to notice that in certain pictures or video that my highlight would be super duper white and not more of a flesh tone color. So the highlight that's on my brows now is this fawn i feel like it matches a lot better with my skin tone this is an amazing highlight underneath my eyes i've highlighted this around my whole face with banana powder on top and i need to buy like five more of these because this is amazing and genius now on to primers and primers and setting sprays Primers, primer wise on the face, I'm trying to think. Yeah, primer wise on the face, I was using Becca Evermatte Ever Matte Primer. And when I said that, that kept my face matte, it kept my face matte like no other. I was not oily at all in my T zone area. Until Nikki, Miss Nikki here on YouTube, Nikki Tutorials, she had introduced us all to the Nivea Men Shave Balm and I have become obsessed with this balm. I think that this it sticks to my face so well and also makes my makeup stay on longer as well on top of that and I think normally towards the end of the day I don't get too shiny but okay Nikki Tutorials she said that she has um her skin is is dry so this is very moisturizing for her and keeps her face matte me having combination skin with it being slightly oil sometimes um i don't get that oily with this even though i've had i've heard somebody else say that that they get more oily with this to me i don't get that oil oily with this i like how this feels on my skin the nice cooling feeling when Right after you wash your face and I put this on, it has a nice feel to it. The fragrance is very is a very low-key fragrance. It literally smells like just like a fresh spring bar of soap or like a fresh spring day, minty-wise. But I really, really do like um, this primer. Now, when it comes to eye primer, what I was doing before was putting concealer all over my eyes. But, of course, my eyelids, they get oily. So, of course, a concealer was not working because I don't think I was properly setting it on, on top of that. Then, with me saying before that I need to use more products that I already own or I already have, um, every Lorac... Pa Oof. What is going on? <laughs> Excuse me.
with every Lorac palette that you have, Lorac, they give you a smaller size of their um, eyeshadow primer. So this is the size of it that you get when it comes in your, um, in your, what's the word? In your palettes. So I started to use it and my eyelids like shine free with no problem. The first primers that I was using was the NYX Jumbo Pencils and those are creamy as well but I would start, I would start to realize that towards the end of the day my eyelid they would look a little bit shiny or greasy and with this I have no problems I can use any color a dark color a light color in it the prime the primer this primer it can do no wrong it can literally do no wrong you literally just need like a little pinch of a squeeze wipe dab on the eyelid and I it's amazing and this little sample is actually really nice I don't even know what the full size bottle of this looks like but I have two of these and I'm not going to be running out of this anytime soon now on to the setting spray that I was playing about before I was using what was I using I was using <laughs> I had to look it's on my desk I was using the kills oil eliminator and what I was telling you guys before is the kills oil eliminator is used for men that are bald on top and they would spray that on their head so their head doesn't look shiny so somebody had recommended it to me as a setting spray that my face would not be shiny at the end of the day and of course they were correct and it works still but I had a client of mine tell me about the Urban Decay All Night um, Makeup Spray Setter. And I don't know why I just felt like, no, you don't need to buy it. Like, you don't need it. Just keep using what you got. You don't need this yet. And of course, when I was in, this, I, of course, when I was in the line of Sephora, they get you in those lines where they have those, those little travel size things this one is travel size and I picked it up and I'm like why not it's the Urban Decay all nighter makeup setting spray long lasting oil free paraben free temperature control technology it says of course spray 8 to 10 8 to 10 inches away from your face and miss the face either in the T zone in a T shape or an X formation and guys let me just let me just get y'all a little bit closer here. When this says all nighter, they were not kidding when this says all nighter. I don't get oily in my T-zone area. I feel like my face stays my whole face stays matte regardless. And I don't I don't know what it is. Like, first of all, it smells good when you're spraying it. Number two, the consistency of the spray bottle itself is really amazing you know sometimes you spray things out and it just shoots right out you instead of not instead of dispersing all over your face I feel like this disperses um very well all over my face and when this runs out I will be getting the full size bottle so let's talk about what is on my lips today because once again, I have another favorite lip combo, but I can't remember if I mentioned this already in another video. But um, NYX lip liners. <sighs> Guys, NYX lip liners are life. Okay? Life. The lip liner that I have on my lips today is in the color Nutmeg. I feel like I need to buy five more, five more of these Nutmeg ones because it is literally the perfect brown on my lips. I had bought a brown lip liner from Black Opal or Black Radiance and it was just like too brown. Like in the 80s dark lip liner too brown and this is literally perfect for my skin tone like I would have no problem with putting this all over my lips and just wearing this on my lips like that's how amazing this color is let me just give you a little swatch right here perfect brown like ever a little bit of reddish but still a nice consistently it, it's it's a nice consistent brown it's 
really, really. What? Hold on. What in the heck is a nice, consistent brown? Like, I can't even talk. <laughs> like. It's just a really nice brown um, lip liner. Secondly, like I've guys have told you before, I am completely and utterly obsessed with the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, okay? Obsessed. Now, the favorite combo in my eyes, which is these two right here, this one right here is in the color Tres Leches. I've definitely mentioned this before in another video. <coughs> 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 Like I was saying, <laughs> Tress Luscious is one of my faves, but <coughs> okay, now that I have recovered from choking for a good five minutes, <laughs> Tress Luscious and Peanut Brittle together are literally my lip power duo at the moment with that lip liner that I was just talking about, Nutmeg. I put on Tress Luscious first and the thing with this is because when I had got this um duo I came to work and my friend Jan was like oh my god what is that on your lips like I need that in my life and I was like Psh. I know so she told me that she didn't like it when she was doing it at home herself and I said well what are you doing wrong she's like oh I'm just taking it and I'm just smearing it like no you cannot smear this all over your lips let me let me tell you why you can't do that okay so once you open this, it is so much product on this brush that you have to brush at least one side of it off. Once you brush one side of it off, you have enough product on one side for your lips to brush it on. So once I brush one side off, I do the bottom lip only first. Once the bottom lip is already done, that is enough product for both of your lips. If you were just to dip this in and just be like, your lips would be, first of all, they would look crazy because it's too much product on your lips to begin with. Bottom lip only. Smack. It shares enough for the for the bottom and top. Once that's all nice and blended, then you go in with peanut brittle. Do the same. Well, I don't know why it's not focusing. But same exact thing. Way too much product on this brush. Wipe one side down. Do a little smear on the bottom. good to go no issues now i was at target one day and target had put in not a whole new line i wish that they did they had added some stuff to their elf section and i went over there they had two new brushes i think from their studio line from elf and i just hate that this brush does not have the name on it but I think it's their foundation brush I had bought this foundation brush and their new contour brush now shall we talk about this brush this brush is dense but not it's not too well no it's dense it's very it's very kabuki like the feel and the bris the bristles are tightly compact which I like so you Obviously, you can use this as a foundation brush, but for me, I've been using this as a contour brush, like contour around the forehead and nice slightly just strokes to get the cheekbone. And I kind of want to buy like two more of these brushes because this brush is just amazing. Now, since this is Kaya Reaches, I have been constantly reaching constant like without a doubt constantly reaching for this morphe brushes 350 palette when i say i am constantly reaching for this i am constantly reaching for this palette now i have not explored the whole palette yet my main colors that i like to use are is this dusty dark brown this neutral brown over here as a transition color, of course, both of these oranges, this color over here is just 
amazing. I just really need to start branching and just using, I need to start using all of these colors. But when I say I'm constantly reaching for this palette, like, thank you from the Morphe gods. Like, you have created this palette. It's amazing. Like, life changing, okay? Life changing. But I want to thank you guys for coming back and continuing for being here with me. And I'm so sorry that it's taking me this long to do another video. Um, I will say we are a couple of days closer to IMAX. Me and my cousin Nicole are going to IMAX in New York and I will be taking you guys with me. I'll be doing a vlog of the whole time we are in New York. And I am also in the process of doing a giveaway. I am giving away some brushes. I want to give away some products. I want to give away maybe a gift card. Sephora or either an iTunes gift card but I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing to this channel I did say for my birthday video I was gonna do I was gonna do a giveaway and I just haven't gotten around to doing it but I'm slowly getting things together for this giveaway and I just want to say thank you to you guys and this is another edition of Kaya Reaches and I'll see you guys back soon bye